Hello, this is the first in a series of videos on tile patterns. So we're going to start with some basic tile patterns that you can just create in the material editor with create new. And then in the next few videos, we'll move up to more complex tile patterns that you have to build in the designer or script and also tile painting. So to begin, I'm going to go to my material editor here and then create new and then simple tile. I'll enter my dimensions and that will just create a monolithically installed tile at the dimensions you set and then you can change these dimensions as well. Next we'll do a tile with an offset so I'll go to simple tile again enter the dimensions for my tile and then in offset I want this to be offset half a tile so I'll just put 0.5 and that will offset my tile by half. Now let's do a plank. Again simple tile. This time we'll do 3 feet by 6 inches and for my offset I'm going to enter 10 which is random and that will create a randomly installed plank. And I can also, if I want my numbers in square feet, I can hit this four square feet button. Now let's do a quarter turned. So to do a quarter turn, I'll go create new checkerboard, enter the dimensions, and that's all I have to do to create a checkerboard pattern. If I want to change the colors, that will be in designer. And we'll look at the designer in the next video, so we'll cover that then. If I want to create a herringbone pattern, herringbone, and let's do three feet and six inches again, and change the color so we can see that. Okay, so you can see that's, it'll create basic herringbones patterns. It will not create a herringbone at every size, so Occasionally you'll have to use the script to build herringbones and we'll look at that in the script video. But for most sizes that herringbone command will work through create new. There's also a key square option. And finally a colored grid option. And this is really going to help you later when we talk about designer, how to create mixes of different colors at a set percentage, or to create like a basket weave pattern. We'll use that box. But basically it just creates a grid of tiles. So you could, this one is a four tile by four tile grid. So I'll click on that, set the dimensions for the tile and set how many tiles I want in the grid. So this would be a total of 16 tiles, 4 by 4 tiles. Let's look at a few of these in the room. If I need to alter the installation of these materials, I can double click on a wall to change the pile direction. I can also go into room settings and change the start point to a wall start or a manual start. If I select manual, then to move the start point, all I need to do is find it and click and drag the start point, which will move the start point. And another thing you can do in room settings is to set the pile angle. So that is just uh, a very beginning on tile patterns and in the next video we will cover how to use the designer to create mixes and slightly more complex tile installations.